Hey everybody, it's Madison here, and today we're going to be finishing up our advent calendar. So this is going to be our last and final day. You can see the drawing from the last video, the Christmas tree here. And I can turn on to see the other two that we got finished. Sorry about that video, we just had a lot of errors, so we just had to put it up without any audio. Alright, and so for today's piece, we are going to be doing our sky for the back of our Christmas tree. And then at the end of the video, we're going to put all of the pieces together, and we're going to make our little card. So we use our pencils, and eventually we're going to need our scissors and glue and things of that nature, and that's what we're going to be using to finish up the piece today. So today we're mainly just going to be using something like crayons or paint or whatever you're using to do the background. And so we're just going to be coloring the background, whatever color you choose. Here we got this nice pretty blue. And I hope you guys are having a good Christmas. This should be coming out on Christmas Eve, which means everyone needs to get all of their stuff ready for Santa. In my family, we don't actually put out cookies for Santa. We always put out Reese's. Not really sure why. Reese's and Coca-Cola. Santa got a treat with our family. We didn't just put out cookies. Alright. And now we're just speeding through this, trying to get some of this colored. And you actually don't need to put any on the bottom. I don't actually know why I did. I just like having a whole sheet, one solid color when I start. So you guys can actually just use the bottom kind of blank. Wherever you're going to be putting the Christmas tree and all of the snowmen. If you know where that is, you can just leave all of that section blank. You don't actually need to color it. Alright. And we're almost finished. And so after this, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be doing lighter colors on top. And so in order to do that, depending on what you're using, if you're using crayon, you just kind of go and lightly brush the top of it like you're going to see me doing. If you use paint, what you can do is you can wait for the base layer to dry and then put a small little bit of paint on top and just spread it really thin. If it's still wet and you're painting it, then you can just go ahead and mix it in right now. That's kind of what I'm doing here, is just mixing the two together. And see, so you can just see me using slightly different. And so we're going to want it just a little bit lighter at the top. And as it goes down, we're just making it a little bit darker. And then we're just getting some really, really dark blue. And that's what we're just putting on the bottom to make it look like the bottom is darker than the top. And then we have this nice little fade. So we're just going to lighten up the top just a little bit more. There we go. And next we're going to be starting on our stars. In order to do this, if you're using crayon, you might want to see if anyone has like paint or whiteout will do or sometimes the crayons can actually work i just know they can be a little bit tricky putting white back down so we're going to start just by putting all these little bitty dots and just make sure whenever that you're doing stars that you don't put them in like a uniform pattern so you don't make them 
just look square just kind of put them randomly all over the page and you're also going to want to vary how light you're putting them down so some you'll want really bright and some you might want a little less bright some you're going to want small and some you're going to want really big so you can actually see all the differences when i'm putting them down and you're going to see in a second i'm actually going to put much bigger ones down and they're going to be a lot brighter You can kind of see me making like a little Milky Way here. If you've ever gone stargazing someplace that's really, really, really dark, you can actually see this really pretty line that goes across the sky. And that's our galaxy. And these are the big ones, and we're just going to put some even smaller ones down after this. Okay, here we go. There, kind of like that. Alright. And you guys can put more stars if you want, or less. It doesn't really matter how many that you put down, just put however many that you like putting down or that you think looks really interesting. If you're using something like watercolor, you can do something that I tried a few years ago, which is you pour salt on top of it. So you make all, all of the paint wet, and then while you're putting it down before it dries, you just get like a little salt shaker, and then you just sprinkle it right on top, and it absorbs the paint. It looks kind of interesting. All right. Um... Let's see what it looks like with the Christmas tree on. Uh, I think we're missing something kind of right back here someplace. So let's try putting maybe some mountains in. Alright, so we're just going to get our blue again. And we're going to darken it so it looks like it is just really far away. There we go. And so when you're doing mounds like this, it's kind of just a bunch of little triangles. You don't want to make them perfectly triangle, and you don't want to make them too close together. But it really is just a bunch of little triangles put together. There we go. And make this one a little bit bigger. Alright, there we go. And I'll put one right over here in the corner. Okay, and now let's just drag that down a little bit more. There we go. And now we're just going to put little highlights on it. So we're just going to make this a slightly lighter blue. Alright. And you typically want to put it mainly on one side. Because we're going to put some shadows, I think, on the other side. Alright. And there we go. So let's get that darker. And then here's where we're going to put the shadows on the opposite side of the light. There we go. There. Oh, can't forget these two over here. There we go. Now, let's see what it looks like with the Christmas tree. So, we're going to adjust this just so you can see just a little bit of the mountains. There we go. And we're going to put this. Remember, you can put them in whatever order you like, but I just kind of like putting these like we decided last time, where the one where the else is slightly in the back and it makes this nice little hill. All right. And now we're going to put the under snow on. So this is just something that we put underneath all of these little pieces to just make sure all the snow goes all the way out to the edges. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Alright, and now we're just going to make it look like the star is shining a little bit. So again, we're just going to do the same thing where we just brighten it and we slowly, just very lightly... Put it around the outside of the paint. There we go. Just like this. You don't want to push too hard. And just make these little circles. And you can push in harder the closer you get to the star. That makes it look like it's glowing. And we're actually going to get just a little bit of white. And we'll put that in the middle also. There we go. Alright, and I think we're actually going to put... Maybe like a little message written over the top. So let's just put... Here, we'll make it red. And then we'll just put... Let's put Happy Holidays. Alright. 
and you can clearly just say whatever you want to say on the top right here I think it might just look nice to put something all right I think that looks pretty good and of course you always have to sign it whenever you do your artwork So I'm going to put from, or O-M, and I'm going to put my name. This is going to be Madison and Depo. There we go. Got to make sure I don't misspell my own name. Happens more than you would think. And of course, this is my art channel. We're just going to put art down. There we go. And that's our finished piece. And you can give this to whomever that you like. And you can make it like a big surprise art Christmas present. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas. And I'll see you next year. Bye guys.